Hi everyone and welcome to today's yoga class for the hips and the heart. So we will go through a couple of fun yoga poses to open the hip area and to open the chest area or your heart. So let's get right into it. You can either sit in a cross-legged seat or if you want to warm up your hips right away, you can bring your feet together to touch in front of you. Keep them further away for now because we're just getting started. But as I said before, feel free to stay in easy pose and just have your feet cross-legged. Then bring your hands on your knees or on your ankles. And we start with a seated cat and cow. So we inhale and press the chest forward, roll the shoulders back, bring the shoulder blades together to touch. Exhale and round the spine, spread the shoulder blades apart and bring your head forward a little bit. Inhale and exhale. You should feel a nice opening in your hips also here. Maybe close your eyes and become one with this movement. Inhale forward, exhale back, three more. Last one. Great. Then cross your legs in front of you and we come to a tabletop position. We start with puppy pose. Puppy pose is a really great pose to open up your chest. So come to table pose first. Make sure that your hips are over your knees. And then you walk your hands forward. And if you want to stay here and you already feel an opening in your chest, that's awesome. Or you can come further down and bring your forehead down on the mat or on a block, whatever feels good today. Spread your fingers out wide. Make sure that your elbows are staying close to your head so they should not come to the outsides. And this will really engage this heart opening pose. This pose is also called heart melting pose because you really melt into the mat here. Then slowly come up to your tabletop pose again and we tuck the toes, lift the hips up high and come to a downward facing dog. We're just getting started, so spend some time here to warm up. Bend one knee and then the other. Walk your dog. And then bring attention also to your upper body. So look at your hands for a moment, make sure that they are spread apart. And then let your chest sink down towards the mat. So think about a heart opening pose here. I know this doesn't sound intuitive first, but downward facing dog is really a great pose to open up the heart. So bring back this heart opening feeling that you just had in puppy pose. Then look between your hands. Step your left foot forward, lower your right knee down. And inhale, bring both of your arms up high, open up to a low lunge. So we open up the chest here, and at the same time, let both of your hips sink down towards the mat. Great. Relax your shoulders. And then bring both of your hands back down, grant the right hand down right next to your left toes, and then reach your left arm up high to this low lunge twist. And we do big circles with the arm for three, for two, and one more. Awesome. Bring your arm right up, then reach it to the back so that you reach your hand to the back of the room you can stay here or if it feels comfortable, you can lift your back foot up and reach for it. 
that you can grab it with your left hand and then open up your chest here. Wonderful. Deep breath in and out. And let go of your foot. Bring both of your hands back down and step back to your downward facing dog. Great. One deep breath here. And exhale. And look between your hands again. And this time step the right foot forward, lower the left knee down. And we'll first come up to our low lunge. So inhale, come up to your fingertips first. Open up the chest and then reach both of your arms up high. Let your hips sink down deep and maybe reach up and a little bit back to open up the heart here. Then bring both of your hands back down, ground the left hand down, reach the right hand up and we do big circles for three, for two, and last one. Then reach your hand to the back, stay here, or lift the left foot up. Grab your left foot with your right hand, open up your chest, lean back a little bit, really open up here. Press your foot into your hand to open up even more. Then let go of your foot, bring both of your hands back down and we step back to our downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in and out here first. And exhale. Then look between your hands again. We step the left foot forward again, but this time the knee stays up and we come up to a high lunge. So reach your arms up high, Pull the belly button in, straighten your pelvis, reach your arms up high, but relax the shoulders down. Awesome. And then it, let's include a little twist here. So reach the right hand forward, left hand back. Yes. And you can stay here or bring the left hand onto your right hamstring and then reach the right hand up high and back. So this is a little balancing exercise, but it's great to open up the upper body. Beautiful. Then come back to your high lunge. Focus on your front leg. So all focus comes into the front leg. Bring your hands down on your hips or to a prayer in front of the heart. Find a vocal point in front of you and then step the right foot up that you are balancing on the left foot. Great. Let's do a little standing cat and cow here. So bring your arms out to the side. They are bent at the elbows and we will bring the elbows and the forearms together. Your knee comes up and then reach your foot back, open up your chest, open up your shoulders, and we come back forward. Two more. Reach back, arch the spine, great, and come back forward, round the back. Last one, reach back, and come back. Bring the forearms together, Great, and then slowly step back to your high lunge. Lower the back heel down, that you open up your hips to the right side, and then you can grab a block, if you have one close by, or you can just use your mat, and bring your left hand forward onto your block or down on the mat. Lift your right foot up as high as you can, and then reach your right arm up to a half moon pose. Great. Stay here for a moment. 
Focus on opening the hip to the right side. Open your heart. Awesome. And you can stay here or again, you can bend your knee, grab your right foot with your right hand and come to the sugar cane pose. <laughs> I know this is a little tricky. Make sure that you find a vocal point either down on the floor in front of you or even up at the ceiling. Great. If you can't get into this pose, don't worry. Someday it will work out. Then let go of your foot and bring both of your hands back down. Bring your right foot down and step back to downward facing dog. Good job, everyone. Let's do the same on the other side. One breath in downward facing dog first. Inhale and exhale. Look between your hands. Step your right foot forward and find stability here first. Inhale, come up to high lunge. Take a moment here to find your stability. Square your hips to the front. So that normally means that you bring your right hip back a little bit, the left hip forward, straighten the left leg, pull the belly button in, open up the chest and reach your arms up high, relax the shoulders down. Great. Then we include our twist again. This time reach the right hand to the back, the left hand to the front, Keep your hips as stable as possible. You can stay here or you include this little reverse high lunge where we bring the right hand on the left hamstrings and reach the left hand up and to the back. Then come back to high lunge. Focus is on the front foot. Bring your hands down to a prayer or onto your hips and step your left foot forward that you are balancing on the right. Good job, everyone. Cactus out your arms. Bring your forearms together, round your spine. Inhale, open up, reach. Oh. No worries if you lose your balance. That's happening to everyone. Reach your foot back, open up your chest and we round, bring the knee, the elbows up and we reach back. Last one, elbows come together and we open up. Great job. Come back to your high lunge, pivot the left heel down, take your block, bring it to the outer side of your mat. Bring your hand down on the mat, lift the left foot up and open up the hips to the left side first. Engage this back leg. So either point or flex your foot. This will help with your balance. And then reach your arm up high. Good job. You can stay here. Lift the leg up as high as you can or you can Reach for your foot here and come to sugar cane pose. Great. Find your vocal point. Yes. It will get easier with time. Great job. Let go of your foot. Bring both of your hands back down and come back to your downward facing dog. Whew. That was a fun flow. Let's take a moment here. Inhale and exhale. Let's come to our next fun pose that focuses on opening the heart and the hips, which is pigeon pose. So this time bring your right knee forward, bring it down behind your right wrist, extend the left leg behind you, and find your pigeon pose here first. Bring both of your hands down on the mat. I like to be on my fingertips and really focus on opening your heart here. We stay here for a moment and if you want to include 
more heart opening, you can come to a wave here. So inhale and open up the chest, lean back, exhale, come forward, two more. Come up one more time, you can stay here. Or if you want to, we continue our fun with grabbing the foot behind us. So you can either grab your foot here, and if it's possible, you can even bring your foot into your elbow grease. And if this is possible, you can bring your right hand up and try to grab, oh, you have to, don't lose your balance, and grab your hands here for a mermaid bind. This is a more advanced pose, so don't worry if you can't get into it today. As you see, I'm struggling with balance today a little bit, but that's totally fine. And if you just stay here, that's fine. And if you are down here, also fine. Find the variation that works for you. One more deep breath. And slowly come out of the pose and step back to your downward facing dog. We do the same on the other side. This time bring your left knee down behind your left wrist. Extend your right leg behind you. Make sure that it's really extended straight behind you. It always helps to look back. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale to open. Exhale, come down. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come up one more time. And then you can stay here. Or as we did on the other side, bring your right foot up and maybe just grab it here. If you can come to the mermaid bind, that's fine. If not, just stay here. And if you can't grab your foot, that's also fine. This is something that you can work towards. Maybe close your eyes here. Then let go of your foot. Bring both hands down and we come back. To downward facing dog just for a moment and then lower your knees back down and come to a seated position on your mat we have two more poses the next pose is cow face pose which is also a wonderful pose to open the hips and the heart at the same time for cow face pose bring your left knee down on the mat so that it points to the front and then bring your right knee right on top of it. So the goal is to have both knees right stacked on top of it. If this is not possible for you yet, don't worry. Just try the best that you can. Your feet are down on the mat. So the outer edges of your feet are down on the mat. And make sure that both of your sitting bones are grounded down on the mat. If this doesn't feel good, grab a block and you just sit on a block and this will make it easier. So find this position first, your cow face legs. And now we include cow face arms. So bring your left hand over your head and bring it uh, between your shoulder blades. And your right hand comes to the back and you try to grab your fingers here. If this is not possible, you can grab a strap and pull your hands together or just bring your hands, you know, on your back, wherever they land. But if you can make it happen and your fingers touch each other, even better. Make sure to open your chest here, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw and your tongue. Then let go of your hands. 
bring both of your hands down. You can either just change legs here so that the left knee is on top or you bring both of your hands down, lift your hips up and <laughs> make one turn around and sit down again and magically the other knee is on top, which is a really fun transition that I personally really like. Make sure that your knees are stacked on top of each other, feet are down, sitting bones are down, make yourself long first and try to find some comfort in this pose. Then bring your right hand over your head and down between your shoulder blades, your left hand reaches from your back and try to grab your opposite fingers here again. Close your eyes, try to enjoy this pose. I know it looks rather easy, but it's actually pretty challenging. So try to find some relaxation in the slight discomfort. Then let go of your hands. Unravel your feet and your legs. Maybe windshield wiper your knees from left to right for a moment. Great. Then come to a seat on your mat. Your legs are extended in front of you. And we come to our last pose, which is fish pose you can come to a more restorative fish pose for which you need some props or you can come to a more active fish pose which is a really nice heart opening pose. So I will first show the active one and then the more restorative one to relax. So for the active one, bring both of your forearms down on the mat, right under your shoulders. So it's your shoulders and your elbows are in line. Point your feet and then lift your chest up as if a string would pull your chest to the top. And we are in fish pose. If you want, you can let go of your head and let it hang heavy. But this is uncomfortable for a lot of people, so you don't have to do this. So really just push your chest up as high as you can. So this is the more active pose. If you want to do the same, but more passive, my favorite thing is to bring a block and a bolster down on the mat. So the block is on this long setting here where we will bring our spine on and then we have the bolster and the head will lay on the bolster. So same as with the active pose, we lay down, but this time we lay down on the block and the block is basically in the area where your bra normally is so more on the upper spine and then rest your head on a bolster or on a mat you can play around with the settings of the block to find a position that works for you then relax your feet let them fall to the sides Open up your hands and your arms and relax. You will feel that this is a really great heart opening pose. It's very relaxing and very opening. If you don't have a block or bolster close by, you can come to a traditional Shavasana. Just lay down on your back, bring your arms next to you, spread your legs apart a little bit and let your feet fall to the sides. Take one more deep breath in and out and fully relax.
you can stay in this restorative fish pose as long as you want or you can slowly transition to Shavasana so lift yourself up a little bit remove the block and the bolster and lay down on your mat and melt down into your mat relax every muscle in your body Slowly start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Stretch your arms over your head and roll to one side. And then come up to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs in front of you. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.